As most of you know, I have an addiction to Lady Gaga. So as a gift to all of you, I'm going to show you how to make her video glasses as seen in her performances. Now this is a very simple yet fun project to do. Now I bought two digital photo keychains from www.kobe.com and they cost about $19.99 a piece so this project came out to about $40 because everything else you can find around the house. Here's a quick overview of what you're going to need before you start this project. Two digital photo keychains which I picked up from www.kobe.com for $19.99 each. It took about a week for them to arrive in the mail. You're also going to need some sort of glasses that you can attach the digital photo keychains to. I got these from the movie theater so they were free. <laughs> You're also going to need hot glue sticks. You can pick them up from any crafting supply store, but I just happen to have them at my house. You also need scissors and wire cutters. Wire cutters are really important because we're going to be cutting off the metal part that attaches to the digital photo keychains. And lastly, a hot glue gun. We're going to use the hot glue to mount the digital photo keychains to the glasses. While my hot glue gun heats up, I'll just open up the package. Now make sure that you're working with something under you because the hot glue gun tends to come out of the gun before it's heated up. This is the USB cable that we're going to be using. And this is how we're going to transfer the images from the computer onto the digital photo holders. Okay, so now that you've gotten them out of the packaging, you're going to want to cut off the keychain part so that we can mount it to the glasses without it showing. In order to do this, I have wire cutters here. And we're just going to take a little snippet right there. And it's kind of tough to get off, but if you move it around a little bit and bend the wire, it should come off with ease. Okay, maybe not ease, but <laughs> you get the point. So you should be left with something that looks like this. Remember the USB cable that we took out when we opened it? Well, now we're going to use this to plug into the side of the photo albums. And we're going to plug this into our computer. Now I have a Mac, so I'm sorry, I can only show Mac users how to do this. But all of these come with instructions for Windows and PC. So it should not be hard to put the picture on my desktop. So in order to transfer these photos onto the device, it's very, very simple. You simply plug the USB cable into the back of the photo album. From there, it will pop up on your screen if you have a Mac saying Mac DPF Mate. It has a puzzle piece icon. You're going to double click that and when that opens up, you're going to find your images over here in this area. Then once you select the images, you click add. Once you click add, they're going to show up over here. Now I've pre-selected my images already, so I'm not going to do this step. Once that's done, you press download and they will simply go on your device. Very, very The simple. final step that we're going to do is hot glue gun the digital photo keychain to the front of these glasses. Now in order to do this we're going to heat up our hot glue gun. Mine is already heated up. And make sure, this is very important, that your video players are facing up the right way. Because if they're not, both of your images aren't going to show up right. What you want to do is put a generous amount of hot glue to the back of the photo album. Make sure that you do this quickly because hot glue dries quickly and make sure, importantly, not to get any where the USB port is because we want to be able to recharge this. Okay, now we're going to attach it to the front of the glasses. Make sure that the album is very straight. Okay, that's very hot. <laughs> For added support, you might want to put some glue around the outside edge.
Okay. We're going to let that cool. Okay, so I've completed the gluing of the glasses, and they look like this. They look pretty good. Um, if I didn't say this in the beginning, make sure that you are using maybe real D glasses or some sort of glasses with bulk because these players are kind of heavy and you need enough bulk to support the weight. Once you're all done, you want to power them up and put them on, and they look like this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and please subscribe to my second channel, www.youtube.com slash Jarrett Holt. Thank you.